Hey guys, it's me Lupis, and today I will teach you how to make tropical blocks in FL Studio by using only stock plugins. This means you don't have to go out and buy expensive plugins like Nexus or or Serum or all that kind of stuff. You don't need to buy effects either. I will only use stock plugins for this one. I know a lot of people really want to make tropical blocks for example like Kaigo's Firestone which is an amazing song um, but a very few people really know how to make these in Eiffel Studio it is easier than you think and the only two VSTs we need is Citrus very very simple uh, version of Citrus we don't need to go into the the synthesizer matrix or all that kind of stuff and then we want to use the the stock plugin called Plucked. We are using Citrus to create the the over the overall sound, and we are using Plucked to create the little click that comes before a tropical block hits. So you need a new project file in Evil Studio for this one. Let's call the first pattern tropical blocks, just like that. Let's give it a color, for example, this blue one, very tropical like. So the thing you want to do is you want to take this, I don't know if you have a sampler or maybe you have some beats or something, you need citrus. You go into replace or insert and then you need to find citrus. So from the default opening citrus will sound like this. Really loud and really big. You want to go into the presets and find the default. It would sound like this. A very tough and heavy sine wave. So let's add this to our mixer channel number one. As I said before, we also need the plugin called Plucked, which is also a stock plugin from Eiffel Studio, right here. And we will route that to mix channel number two. So in the mix channel, you want the citrus and you want the plucked, you want them to be routed to number three. Because we have to compress the sounds after we have worked with them individually. And I'll show you how to do this. It's easy. So route only to this track. And let's call this Tropical Plucks. I always rename all stuff in colors, so I always know what I am doing all the time. Okay, so these are routed to number three. Let's start with side throws then. So as I said before, it sounds like this right now. It's not so great. So first of all, we need to go into the main. We need to turn on high Q, HQ envelopes and oversampling. I have a very powerful PC, so I can do it like 64 if I want to, but it takes so much core power from your PC. So I guess for one or two adjustments in this heavy uh, in this heavy synthesizer, we only need times two or times four. You go to option one. We need a square waves, wave, um, wavelength over here. So the first thing we want to do is to take the shape and put it halfway up. Around there. We'll take the tension and pull all the way up. And the skew will also go all the way up. The sign will stay low. The pre-filler will stay high and the noise will go some around here. And then we need a pluck. Like that. So I just turned the shape a bit up. So we got this. This square. It needs to be exactly 50%. If it is below 50, you'll get this weird waveform. And then you have the pluck actually all already. You can hear that. So, 
Now we got the plug. But what what next? Now we need to work with the pre-click. You know, the click that comes before the plug, which we will work with in the VST called plucked. This one. Right now it sounds like this. So we need the decay all the way down and the color all the way up. And now it sounds like this. So we got this click right now. The next thing we want to do, we are now we are done with, you know, with the VSTs. Now we want to equalize and compress. First we want to equalize this plug. So you want to find your favorite equalizer. I'll use the EQ2. I really love that one. I've also made a preset, high low cut. You want to cut all the low end. Maybe like this. And you want to take the high end to around 16,000 hertz, I guess, or 16 kilohertz. And you get this weird click. And maybe we'll turn up the treble a bit. Just like that. I like that. Um, and we also want to EQ our plug a bit. Not much, because this is our main sound. We don't want to lose a lot of frequencies in this one. Oh, I need to use this, I guess, like that. Here we have the plug. Let's turn on HQ. And 16,000 hertz again. There we go. So now we need to layer these two so we can play them at the same time. So we will go in, press the little cross right here. And we will find the little plugin called Layer. It's also free if you have the Produce Edition of Apple Studio. And it's a stock plugin. So with the Layer you open it. And you have this Set Children and Show Children. And Children means which plugins Layer is using. So we are holding in and dragging down the first two plugins and set children. You want to turn the volume all the way up because layer tends to lower the volume a bit. And then you stand here and if you play, you will play both of them. And you will hear that the default plug from Citrus will have gotten a some sort of click before all the main frequencies start playing. And if you turn this plug off, you can clearly hear the difference. It sounds more present. So the thing we want to do next is we want to compress these two together so we can get a some sort of great sounding plug. So we need the Fruity Compressor. And standard compression's ratio is around 10 to 1. So we'll use around 10 to 1, just like that. And then you have to work with a threshold. And our goal right here, we, we need to aim for something where the default from Citrus and the plucked from plucked, of course, sounds like one sound and not two separate sounds. I think it's right here. And when you compress something by lowering the threshold, we also need to make a little gain. Like that. And let's do one final EQ. Where we high cut and low cut. We will high cut at 16,000. I know we already did that, but we, now we are sure that we don't have frequencies above. And I think the click is just a bit too high, but instead of EQing this away, I will just turn the, down the slider from our channel. Just like that. So now we actually we, we actually made the tropical pluck right now. So the next thing we want to do before our tropical plug sounds amazing. We want to put reverb on it because then we get this atmospheric kind of sounding style. 
So let's do that. And we'll do that in channel rack number three. So we get real reverb both on the plug and the default from Citrus. And I will just use the fruity reverb. That was not fruity reverb. Sorry for that. We have it right there. So by default, this should look just about this. So I want to low cut it a bit. Maybe around there. And make the room a bigger. Just like that. And maybe I want to turn down the damping. And the decay time also a bit. I still think our our reverb, you know, it is. There are too many high frequencies, so we need to high cut it. Right there. When you are doing reverb, not just only on on tropical plugs, but you know, on every single instrument and sound. There is an option in FL Studio, also by stock, to actually EQ reverb, not just by high cut and low cut it, but you can actually add an equalizer to the reverb itself without also making a bus channel. Write down in the comments if you want me to show you how to do this. It's a bit more advanced, but it is actually pretty easy. Okay, back to this. We have the tropical prox right now. And I actually think we made a good job. So it actually sounds a bit like Kygo, which were our goal from the very beginning. So now you know how to make tropical plugs in FL Studio. It is very easy and it it doesn't take a lot of time. I think we spend around 10 minutes doing this and when you get used to it, you can do it in five minutes yourself if you want to make plugs all the time and use it all the time. So I want to say thank you for watching the video. I, I hope it helped you. Comment down below if I should make more f like this, not just by tropical plugs, but you know, more tutorial videos in the future. Thank you for, for watching and consider subscribing if you, if you like the video. Give me a like, maybe. You decide.